Okay, it looks like that 2024 is going to be the year of Shadow now, apparently, because um, Sega is shoving Shadow into literally everything now. We got Movie 3, Prime, we got that new 3D uh, Sonic game coming next year with Shadow in it, and now, in today's video, we got Shadow, apparently it's Sonic Superstars and Dream Team. I mean, it makes sense because, again, Movie 3 is going to be a big hit because Shadow's in it, but, wow, Sega really putting in the effort this time. Wow, that's kind of surprising. So, uh, yeah, you've seen the title, you know what's going on, so uh, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Boys and girls, let's take a look at the news at hand. On to Twitter, we Sonic Rush. Actually, hang on, hang on, just before we carry on with the video. Something tells me that you're not subscribed. How do I know that, you ask? Well, look at this. Are you seeing that right now? Most of the people watching this video right now aren't subscribed. What's going on with that then, eh? Press that subscribe button right the hell now because, you know, just saying, Sega was telling me that if you don't subscribe right now, they ain't releasing that Unleashed part. Okay, they didn't actually say that, but, uh, come on, man, you should still subscribe right now. You won't regret it. Trust me. Anyways, I'll stop bothering you now, so, uh, on with the video. So here we have a tweet from Axonary. Oops, a little something was left behind in a new update. Classic, Shadow's coming to Sonic Superstars. See, if you didn't already know, recently Sonic Superstars got a patch, and if you're wondering what it actually fixed, to my knowledge, absolutely nothing. So... Yeah, it was a 7 gigabyte update and they fixed absolutely nothing. So, uh, well done guys, uh, well done Sega. Our uh, Zest did a very good job with that, but um, yeah, anyways, carrying on. So here we have a look into the files of Sonic Supers, and uh, yeah, we can see the assets of DLC. We got rabbit skin stuff there, then we got the um, shadow stuff there. So, player shadow Chris Sonic, character Sonic or something like that. Avatar police shadow, no idea what that means, but um, yeah. It's basically shadows in the game there. Somewhere in there is there. There are also new references to IHOP Amy in the Sonic Superstars update files. Will she be eating pancakes? I have zero idea what the hell IHOP is. Um, if anybody can update me on that, please let me know. But uh, it somehow let's say eating pancakes, I think. I don't know. Anyways, here, if another image of the files of Sonic Super with us, and uh, yeah, we can see the uh, comic skins at the top for Tails, I assume. You have the Lego Eggman, and then all highlighted there is the IHOP Amy. Whatever the hell that is. Upcoming Sonic Superstars DLC, Retro Dinosaur Amy, internally referred to as IHOP Amy, Shadow Costume Sonic, internally recognised as almost a separate character, behaves like a rabbit. And yeah, again you can see the files of Sonic Superstars right there with Retro Dinosaur Amy and Shadow Costume Sonic. There is also a very high likelihood that it's literally just Sonic in a Shadow onesie. Back to the Sonic Superstars files and then we can see some language that is not English there. I'm not even going to try to identify that, or else I uh, could probably offend someone there, I don't know. But yeah, translating that to English is Sonic in Shadow costume. So it's literally just classic Sonic dressed like this, and it's the uh, Avatar Shadow skin thing from the Sonic Forces DLC. And it already looked very cursed for the Avatar, so just seeing classic Sonic wearing it now is going to be uh, all kinds of weird. It's going to look a bit weird just having a bit of blue from Sonic's actual fur colour with the Shadow costume on. Unless they bring the uh, unibrow from the costume here, all the way down to Sonic's, the bottom of his eyebrow there. Maybe that could work. So basically you see no light blue then, it's basically just all Shadow, but in reality it's just classic Sonic. Maybe they could do that, I don't know. But uh, yeah, Shadow is basically coming to Sonic Superstars as a skin for Sonic. Now this is kind of interesting because Izuka said at one point before the game actually released that Shadow wasn't going to be in the game at all for law reasons and, you know, I can respect that. You know what, that's understandable, but I always thought that well, you can have Shadow as a skin, right? I mean, he had the modern Amy outfit, and obviously, that's just a skin. So you can have modern stuff in Sonic Superstar, just have it as a skin. And I thought it was kind of weird that they didn't do that, because, you know, Shadow people love Shadow. And, yeah, just having that in the game could have sold, like, a couple more thousand copies of the game, something like that, I don't know. But it seems like they want to do it, like, a year later now, just to get more sales for the game, I suppose. Or just coincide with the movie. Probably because the game didn't actually sell all that well. I mean, apart from Sonic fans, I've seen literally no casual talking about Sonic Superstars at all. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I've seen, like, videos of, like, Moist Critical in the Game Awards, like, voting or whatever. And then Sonic Superstars came up, he didn't even acknowledge that game at all. Like, it, it was kind of sad, really. I mean, just the year prior, we got Sonic Frontiers, and pretty much everybody was kind of talking about that game. And then we got Sonic Superstars, uh... Yeah, ain't nobody cared about that, right? It's Clash of Sonic, I'm gonna keep it real with you, nobody cares. Like, genuinely nobody cares anymore. So because of Movie 3 coming out, they're gonna have to save Sonic Superstars with Shadow in there, because, you know, modern works. It's true. Now, Axonary did say that their Shadow skin was kind of separate 
from Sonic, kind of like the rabbit skin. And in the game, when you complete a stage or something, it says, instead of saying Sonic completed Act 1, it says Rabbit completed Act 1, so with the Shadow skin, will it say Shadow completed Act 1 or something like that? I don't know, but um, I guess we'll have to see. Now, I don't think they're going to change any of the animations, sadly, like, instead of having him running, having him skating. But to be fair, I think the rabbit had its own, like, uh, ending screen animation. I can't remember if I had its own idle animation, though. Can't remember about that, but I know the ending screen animation for completing a stage that was different for the rabbit skin, so maybe a new one for Shadow where he does the uh, 06 pose. He was in Forces 2, I'm pretty sure, where he has his back facing towards the camera and his hand and he just turns his head. That could be a neat touch there, but obviously I would expect that really. But, anyways, enough of Sonic Super Mid. Let's instead go to Sonic Mid Team. That was a joke, by the way. Before anybody gets annoyed by that, that was a joke. Relax. Anyways, here from Nova, Random but was going through Dream Team files and uh, Shadow Jump Scare. Then he links this video. You can't get away from me! See, so there is for some reason a Shadow voice clip in the files of Sonic Dream Team, and that is a newly recorded voice line, by the way. And can you just get this out of the way, Kirk Thornton actually sounds pretty decent here. Obviously, it's just one line though, so it's kind of hard to tell if it's actually all good, but. Uh, I'd say it's getting close to that Forces direction level, and obviously I think that's pretty good, so hopefully it's on that level there, but um, yeah. It looks like at some point Shadow's gonna be coming to Sonic Dream Team. Well, either that or they scrapped him and he's actually unused in the game now. But actually, there is some evidence that Shadow could actually be coming to Sonic Dream Team, because we have right here from the Sonic Stadium, and this was a couple of weeks and months ago I think now, so it's not recent, but yeah. Breaking. In an interview with Touch Arcade, Sega Highlight has confirmed that Sonic Dream Team will have post-launch content. They confirmed they are shaping plans now. So they could very easily add Shadow in a future update for this game. That is very doable. Maybe not related to the main story and game, but have like an episode Shadow or something like that, like in the Dead Forces or even episode Metal in Sonic 4. Maybe we get some Team Dark in there too, I think that could be pretty cool. Oh actually no, they can't do that because if it's going to go by the main structure of the actual game, that means we got to have one male and female character, like Sonic and Amy, the speed type, Rouge and Knuckles there, the gliding type or whatever you want to call it, then Cream and Tails are the fly type, so unless Shadow's going to be his own specific type or just a speed character, we're going to need another female character to go alongside Shadow, since Rouge is already in the game. Who would Shadow be alongside? Um, who do we even have? Like, Blaze? Um, is that really it, I think? I can't think of any more female Sonic characters that are really relevant, really. Unless they're going to let you play as Ariam, maybe? I guess that could be interesting. She just turns into a speed type character. I don't know. Uh, but just uh, something else that got uh, left out here. So Nova said right here. Why is underscore modern there? Then we can see in the files right here. Card underscore Amy. Card underscore Sonic underscore modern. So usually don't say underscore modern. Or just modern Sonic. When there's a classic variant. So maybe classic Sonic is coming to Sonic Dream Team. Maybe as a skin or something. I don't know, I can't see him getting his own story or something, that'd be kind of stupid. Now, it's kind of hard to see in the uh, actual video of the files there, but uh, I probably someone said that uh, they saw the word Excalibur something in the files of Sonic Dream Team 2, so maybe an Excalibur Sonic skin or a sword or something. I don't know how that'll work. I mean, oh, actually, it could be just be a trophy, actually. Yeah, because there are trophies in Sonic Superstars. Actually, not trophies, there's statues or whatever. Could be an Excalibur Sonic trophy. Same thing with the Classic Sonic thing, actually, to be fair. Maybe it's that, I don't know. Actually, no, yeah, that could make sense, actually, because um, playing the Shadow story or whatever could unlock some new statues or whatever. Yeah, I think that could make sense. But yeah, whatever happens, Shadow is going to be coming into Sonic Superstars and Sonic Dream Team. So again, next year is going to be, like, the actual year of Shadow. Like, it's insane. We had 2022, the year of Knuckles with Movie 2, and even Frontiers with both Knuckles as being good in those. And yeah, we're starting to move away from Knuckles now and going on to Shadow now, so... Hopefully we can have Shadow being good in all pieces of media that it appears in because it was locked out with Knuckles in 2022. So hopefully Movie 3 and uh, the new Shadow game and Sonic Dream Team for Shadow and I uh, guess Sonic Superstars. But it's not even going to talk about that in matter. But yeah, hopefully Shadow is good. Hopefully that is very good. Anyways, that about does it for today's video. So yes, Shadow's been leaked to be coming into Sonic Superstars and Sonic Dream Team. And uh, yeah, not really much else to say about that really. He's just gonna be there, so get excited I suppose. But, what do you guys think of this news? Are you excited to be playing a Shadow in Sonic Superstars and Dream Team? And how do you think the Shadow's gonna be working in Sonic Superstars? How do you think that's gonna work? Let me know down below. I'd love to see what you guys have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, 
especially that last one. Don't forget to become unleashed by that join button down below. Remember, it's not necessary. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.